Peace and greetings, everyone. Peace and greetings. Divine Zeal here. Going to give a quick tour. Yes. At first it was Hotel Camry. You know, and that was a play on words for what the real real is, which is Hotel Prius. And um, this is a 2021 Prius. Um, I didn't do a brand new car tour, um, which is okay because I now I can show you um, the house tour of my Prius. Um, it's a little dirty. I was, uh, it's, this is an all wheel drive Prius. And um, I was over in California doing some mudding. <laughs> so it's a little dirty, um, but yeah, check it out. So here we have the 2021 Toyota all-wheel drive Prius. Uh, and um, yeah, it's a really interesting, intelligent all-wheel drive system. And uh, I did not get the windows tinted yet, um, but I hope to get them done pretty soon. I just wanted to make sure to get uh, this cargo box, which is a Thule, um Force XT, the large version. And it's uh, the second biggest. They have an extra large as well. Opening the back of the home, um, we have uh, the cargo on the left and the bed on the right. And um, right now I have uh, my backpack. Um, but yeah, I got the pillows right here um, because of the hatchback. Um, it's really dope to uh, be laying down and get to see the night. Um, but I like to live really comfy. Um, so I got this uh, super nice pillow. This is an amazing pillow. Um, one of the best pillows I've ever had. And then this bamboo pillow. And then I have my handy dandy Air Rail uh, Plus um, sleeping pad from REI. It's really uh, amazing. And then I have this twin size uh, memory foam, which I double wrap. And um, I test laid, this is the first time I've put this whole setup down, um, but it's pretty comfortable, it's super comfortable actually. I haven't even uh, inflated my air, air pad yet. And um, if need be, which I've yet to do a review on this sleeping bag, um, I have this uh, Nemo down uh, disco sleeping pad, a uh, sleeping bag. Super nice, amazingly plush. Um, probably my favorite sleeping bag ever. Um, but yeah, that's there too. Um, but yeah, the setup's pretty straightforward. Um, the Prius seats lay completely flat. They lay completely flat. Um, you know, a lot of cars, you know, the seats maybe go go down to here. Like I remember my Camry, it was impossible to do this because my um, seats went like right up to here. But these lay completely flat. Um, so it's a really perfect sleep. Um, I tested this just laying the seats down flat when I was traveling a bit. I didn't really have anything except uh, this sleeping pad and it was still really comfortable sleep. So this is overdoing. This is like super luxurious hotel Camry. Um, so yeah, I just store everything. Like a lot of people use totes and stuff, but I organize my stuff. So like the least used stuff, you know, this is like some first aid kit and car stuff, car cleaning stuff. Like I have that at the bottom cause I don't use it that much. Then I have this duffel bag of toiletries, which I sometimes go into. And uh, this is my extra sleeping bag, um, which I really just use as a blanket now. It's a zero, de or it's, but it's a zero degree sleeping bag. So I could use that if need be. And, um, you know, a lot of people use totes and like cardboard box and all that stuff. But um, I just figure like, just, you know, use the stuff you have, you know, to make a platform. And then, um, yeah, you save space. Me personally, I don't want to buy extra plastic and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of doing the job. So yeah, that's the um, sleeping space for now. And then I just have extra cargo, like just extra jackets and stuff. Um, 
I have the yoga retreat center, which is the yoga um, meditation cushion, um, two different yoga mats. Um, I got the uh, foam foam roller somewhere. You know, I got the yoga block. Um, you know, extra backpacks and some extra stuff there. But I wanted the back to be really clean and organized. Like I have enough space to have elbow room and sleep on my sides and whatnot and be super comfortable for my bed. And then I have some cargo stuff over here. And you know, it's not like super packed and super crowded. And then on this side, you know, nothing's falling out. Um, you know, I have my pad here, some extra stuff here. I have two two gallons of water down there, believe it or not. And uh, I, I, I like to, because I don't have tints at the moment, I'm just using like uh, extra jackets. I'm not really using too much at the moment to cover stuff. So like I got like a backpack of some stuff here. And then I got a box of some stuff. This is like really my biggest you know amount of space taken but um i needed to have some stuff in that box and you know i can't wait to really get it tinted out because even like right now um and i'm ready to go i'm about to um hop in my car and go travel for like months you know um but as you can see everything's taken up here and so last but definitely not least I'm gonna show you the beauty of this Thule box. So once you unlock it, it effortlessly opens up. And um, yeah, just was able to put in as much as I can up until 150 pounds. So really nothing too crazy heavy in here. You know, you got like some clothes, extra towels. Um, you know, I got like some hats in here. You know, I got... Um, you know, my little studio and stuff. Um, I got some solar stuff for if I want to set up my solar setup, which I haven't yet. I've just still been deciding if I need to. You know, I got a tent and everything else in here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you know, like I was able to fit just all my extra stuff um, that I have no need to have down here in the cabin, in the living room area. Um, I could just throw all up in here and then when I'm done, just make sure close it all nice and then you close it like that, boom. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. And then up in front, um, I just got, you know, some shoes, you know, nothing crazy, you know, some Nike reacts. Um, got me some Nike Metcons. These are extremely dirty. These are extremely disgraceful. Um, but you know, I'm on a farm. You know, some Birkenstocks, sandals to slip in and out of. Um, you know, right now I'm about to hopefully not wear boots again for a while. Uh, but I am <laughs> wearing extra tufts right now. But you know, it's really clean. You know, I just got some Nutrigram bars up here. Obviously, you got to have your hand sanitizer. Stay safe. You know, just got a chocolate turnover. Simple stuff. Got some uh, code epoxy masks. Uh, a friend gifted me this for Christmas, and I had this one already, but um, really awesome masks. But yeah, I like up front to be nice and clean. Obviously, Heather's with me, uh, my travel buddy. Half cat, half unicorn. 100% amazing. You know, got some hats that I might want to wear. You know, shout out Pittsburgh. Uh, but yeah, I like to always, wherever I'm, any vehicle I'm dwelling in, I just like the inside to look super clean, you know? Cause then it's like, you know, hopefully the windows are tinted out in the back, little tinted out in the front. And you really can't, you know, you can't really tell, you know, anything crazy going on, you know what I mean? And then you come and check out the uh, side windows and everything's all good, but, um, I can tell you 100% I'm sleeping really good and traveling. But yeah, um, about to leave the farm. <laughs> Homie was uh, using the Bobcat earlier, really uh, improved our road 
on the property. Um, but yeah, like I'm leaving the farm. It's been good. Um, it's definitely treated me well, um, rewarded me well. Um, you know, and I'm just grateful. You know, uh, Hotel Camry or Hotel Camry was nice, but Hotel Prius is amazing. Um, I tested it out on the way back going through California on the coast and um, just being able to leave your car on and not have the engine running all the time. Like it runs like once every few minutes for 30 seconds. You know, I use like 70 cents worth of gas just to keep the heat on all night, you know, and um, now that I got the bed set up and, you know, I'm still pretty minimal, but I, I did, I did kind of, I did kind of get, um, a lot of material and stuff over the year, especially the late, late fall. Um, you know, but still, like I, I, I really wanted to not be stressed out because I am going to be in some Airbnbs and stuff a lot more often. Um, but just uh, like at least three or four days of the week, I could be sleeping in my Prius and then maybe three or four days, uh, maybe hang out in some Airbnbs so I can do some computer work with some Wi-Fi and keep on coding. Um, it's a, it would be a nice balance, you know? And uh, it's really comfortable, like, you know, like to have the front seat, the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat, you know, like all good to go uh, and nice and clean and organized. Like it's really easier to travel when you're clean and organized. And um, just the fact that I can sleep in here and keep moving, um, yeah, I'm super grateful. You know, I really downsized from the, the Dodge Caravan, but in a way, like, I feel like, you know, I, I'm able to still hold all my stuff. Like, it would have been a breeze in the van to carry it all, but, you know, you can't beat getting 50 to 65 miles per gallon, you know, anywhere you go. And um, just, you know, using less emissions and stuff and all, all that nice eco-friendly stuff, that's cool. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's a tour of uh, Hotel Prius, and um, I'll definitely be uploading a lot more travels. Um, like I said, I'm um, going to be hitting the road, like I said, and uh, yeah, hopefully getting um, this app I'm working on finished and we can just go to the moon because y'all are coming with me. Uh, as always, stay peaceful, stay positive, stay progressive, stay productive, stay proactive, and I promise you, not only will you have everything you want in abundance in physical abundance, material, uh, emotional abundance, spiritual abundance, all of that, but you are always and have always been blessed. Divine Zeal signing out. Hotel Prius is live. Peace.